How much would you pay for this, this, or this? These just sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars each, and in the case of Crossroad, for more than $6 million. But what collectors paid for were not physical pieces that you'd traditionally see in museums. They're buying the original digital artworks. I like to think of it as sort of like, almost like a master recording versus an MP3. A bunch of people can have copies of Michael Jackson's Thriller, but one person owns the master recording. One image for each 5,000 days. Beeple is the artist behind Crossroad. His latest work, Every Days, the first 5,000 days, is a digital collage 13 years in the making. Itself. And for Christie's, it's the first purely digital piece of artwork they've ever put up for auction. What do you say to folks this morning who are going to be shaking their head gone? I don't get it. This is a counterintuitive way to think about possession, right? The idea that something intangible can, can be valuable is not that shocking to me. This is an asset that's going to maintain its value. Which is great news for Beeple. Bidding is currently at $4 million in climbing. Do you get a piece of that action or once it's done, it's done? There's a 10% sort of artist royalties. On the surface, buyers appear to be purchasing what's already on the internet for free, like this video of a monstrous dunk by LeBron James. The clip recently sold as a digital trading card for $208,000, but you can still watch it online at no cost. The first ever tweet by Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey is also free to see and now up for auction. So far, the bidding is at $2.5 million. This idea of owning a file, that's a very foreign concept. But I think, you know, as time goes on, people will wrap their heads around it. Not sure people will. Uh, <laughs> but, but Carrie, so many questions here. <laughs> how, how do you even buy these digital items? I'm assuming that, that cold hard cash isn't an option. That's right. It's all about the digital cryptocurrencies uh. like Bitcoin or Ethereum. <laughs> and then how do you prove you own it? Okay, it's a little complicated. You get an NFT, which is a non-fungible token, which is then assigned to the blockchain with a number that only you get, and then you own it. Yeah, it's an internet thing. Wait. Complicated, but... A non-fungible token. No, guys, now, non -fungible wait, token. Savannah has a very important question. <laughs> no, that, yes. I have a, my question is, huh? No. no, but really, what do you do with it? Like, if you have a digital file that you paid $2.5 million dollars of. Yeah, but then what? It, you can't hang yours. it up. Yeah, I know. Well, I guess you could say it's kind of like And then you show it to your cases, friend. You know, it's You're like, your here it is. I have it right here. And they're like, yeah, me too. <laughs> and it looks the exact yeah, but same. But I paid for it. I paid $2.5 for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, you're an idiot. But, you, you can resell it. <laughs> oh, you guys. A little oh, confusing. Carrie, we, we don't oh, want to shoot was, the message. By the way, that's so that, crazy. That was, that, was, that was an entertaining end. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Hey, thank you. It's great. What? <laughs> okay. You got a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of yeah. money. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.